Gestational age, Wikipedia audio. Gestational age is a measure of the age of a pregnancy which is taken from the woman's last menstrual period, or the corresponding age of the gestation as estimated by a more accurate method if available. Such methods include adding 14 days to a known duration since fertilization, or by obstetric ultrasonography. The popularity of using such a definition of gestational age is that menstrual periods are essentially always noticed, while there is usually a lack of a convenient way to discern when fertilization occurred. The initiation of pregnancy for the calculation of gestational age can be different from definitions of initiation of pregnancy in context of the abortion debate or beginning of human personhood. According to American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, the main methods to calculate gestational age are Methods Gestational age can also be estimated by calculating days from ovulation if it was estimated from related signs or ovulation tests, and adding 14 days by convention. A more complete listing of methods is given in following table. Directly calculating the days since the beginning of the last menstrual period, early obstetric ultrasound. Comparing the size of an embryo or fetus to that of a reference group of pregnancies of known gestational age, and using the mean gestational age of other embryos or fetuses of the same size. If the gestational age as calculated from an early ultrasound is contradictory to the one calculated directly from the last menstrual period, it is still the one from the early ultrasound that is used for the rest of the pregnancy. In case of in vitro fertilization, calculating days since oocyte retrieval or CO incubation and adding 14 days. As a general rule, the official gestational age should be based on the actual beginning of the last menstrual period, unless any of the above methods gives an estimated date that differs more than the variability for the method in which case the difference cannot probably be explained by that variability alone. For example, if there is a gestational age based on the beginning of the last menstrual period of 9.0 weeks, and a first trimester obstetric ultrasonography gives an estimated gestational age of 10.0 weeks, the difference of 1.0 weeks between the tests is larger than the 2SD variability of the ultrasonography estimate, indicating that the gestational age estimated by ultrasonography should be used as the official gestational age. Once the estimated due date is established, it should rarely be changed, as the determination of gestational age is most accurate earlier in the pregnancy. Following are diagrams for estimating gestational age from obstetric ultrasound, by various target parameters. By gestational sac diameter. By crown rump length. The events of prenatal development, which usually occur at specific gestational ages. Hence, the gestational timing of a fetal toxin exposure fetal drug exposure or vertically transmitted infection can be used to predict the potential consequences to the fetus, estimation of due date, scheduling prenatal care, estimation of fetal viability, calculating the results of various prenatal tests. Birth classification into for example preterm, term, or post-term, classification of infant deaths and stillbirths, postnatally to estimate various risk factors. By biparietal diameter The fertilization age is the time from the fertilization. It usually occurs within a day of ovulation, which, in turn, occurs on average 14.6 days after the beginning of the preceding menstruation. There is also considerable variability in this interval 
with a 95% prediction interval of the ovulation of 9 to 20 days after menstruation even for an average woman who has a mean LMP to ovulation time of 14.6. In a reference group representing all women, the 95% prediction interval of the LMP to ovulation is 8.2 to 20.5 days. The actual variability between gestational age as estimated from the beginning of the last menstrual period is substantially larger because of uncertainty which menstrual cycle gave rise to the pregnancy. For example, the menstruation may be scarce enough to give the false appearance that an earlier menstruation gave rise to the pregnancy, potentially giving an estimated gestational age that is approximately one month too large. Also, vaginal bleeding occurs during 15 to 25 percent of first trimester pregnancies, and may be mistaken as menstruation, potentially giving an estimated gestational age that is too low. Comparison to fertilization age Gestational age is used for example for the mean pregnancy length has been estimated to be 283.4 days of gestational age as timed from the first day of the last menstrual period and 280.6 days when retrospectively estimated by obstetric ultrasound measurement of the fetal biparietal diameter in the second trimester. Other algorithms take into account other variables, such as whether this is the first or subsequent child the mother's race, age, length of menstrual cycle, and menstrual regularity. In order to have a standard reference point, the normal pregnancy duration is assumed by medical professionals to be 280 days of gestational age. Furthermore, actual childbirth has only a certain probability of occurring within the limits of the estimated due date. A study of singleton live births came to the result that childbirth has a standard deviation of 14 days when gestational age is estimated by first trimester ultrasound, and 16 days when estimated directly by last menstrual period. The most common system used among healthcare professionals is Nagel's rule, which estimates the expected date of delivery by adding a year, subtracting three months and adding seven days to the first day of a woman's last menstrual period or corresponding date as estimated from other means. There is no sharp limit of development, gestational age, or weight at which a human fetus automatically becomes viable. According to studies between 2003 and 2005, 20 to 35 percent of babies born at 23 weeks of gestation survive while 50 to 70 percent of babies born at 24 to 25 weeks, and more than 90 percent born at 26 to 27 weeks, survive. It is rare for a baby weighing less than 500 grams to survive. A baby's chances for survival increases 3 to 4 percent per day between 23 and 24 weeks of gestation and about 2 to 3 percent per day between 24 and 26 weeks of gestation. After 26 weeks the rate of survival increases at a much slower rate because survival is high already. Prognosis depends also on medical protocols on whether to resuscitate and aggressively treat a very premature newborn, or whether to provide only palliative care, in view of the high risk of severe disability of very preterm babies. Using gestational age, births can be classified into broad categories. Using the LMP method a full-term human pregnancy is considered to be 40 weeks, though pregnancy lengths between 38 and 42 weeks are considered normal. A fetus born prior to the 37th week of gestation is considered to be preterm. A preterm baby is likely to be premature and consequently faces increased risk of morbidity and mortality. An estimated due date is given by Nagel's rule. According to the WHO, 
a preterm birth is defined as babies born alive before 37 weeks of pregnancy are completed. According to this classification, there are three subcategories of preterm birth, based on gestational age, extremely preterm, very preterm, moderate to late preterm. Various jurisdictions may use different classifications. Uses Estimation of due date For most of the 20th century, official definitions of a live birth and infant death in the Soviet Union and Russia differed from common international standards, such as those established by the World Health Organization in the latter part of the century. Babies who were less than 28 weeks of gestational age, or weighed less than 1,000 grams, or less than 35 centimeters in length even if they showed some sign of life were classified as live fetuses rather than live births. Only if such newborns survived seven days were they then classified as live births. If, however, they died within that interval, they were classified as stillbirths. If they survived that interval but died within the first 365 days they were classified as infant deaths. Medical Fetal Viability Birth Classification In classifying perinatal deaths, stillbirths, and infant deaths. Postnatal Use Heritability More recently, Thresholds for fetal death continue to vary widely internationally, sometimes incorporating weight as well as gestational age. The gestational age for statistical recording of fetal deaths ranges from 16 weeks in Norway, to 20 weeks in the US and Australia, 24 weeks in the UK, and 26 weeks in Italy and Spain. The WHO defines the perinatal period as the perinatal period commences at 22 completed weeks of gestation and ends 7 completed days after birth. Perinatal mortality is the death of fetuses or neonates during the perinatal period. A 2013 study found that while only a small proportion of births occur before 24 completed weeks of gestation, Survival is rare and most of them are either fetal deaths or live births followed by a neonatal death. Gestational age is sometimes used postnatally to estimate various risk factors. For example, it is a better predictor than postnatal age for risk of intraventricular hemorrhage in premature babies treated with extracorporeal membrane oxygenation. Family-based studies showed that gestational age is partially determined by genetic factors.